Hello, my name is Leul, and in this video, I'll show you how to implement the change password uh, functionality. First thing I will do is add another route. I'm going to call this uh, admin. Accept a user ID, which we are about to change the password. And I will call the controller uh, change password. So this is going to be uh, change password. Password. So I will implement this in inside the controller. It's gonna be to be to make this video short. I'm just gonna copy this, change this to chain password. It's gonna be an async function. Uh, I always have a console log so, uh, just to make sure that I'm hitting the. API, so this is going to be a chain password. I uh, will be removing this uh, later on. Um, so I will hit the first thing I'm going to do is um, first thing I'm going to do is get the user ID on the params. I'm going to destructure it. User ID. So I'll structure this right here from request params. Uh, first thing, so I'm changing password. So it's going to take uh, a password from the body. Therefore, in order to uh, change and hash the password, I need a bcrypt. I'll make sure I have bcrypt imported inside my uh, file. Um, and I use a bcrypt. Okay. Uh, so in order to uh, use bcrypt, we have to have the algorithm. This salt algorithm. Uh, I'm gonna use a weight secret dot generate. I'm gonna pass that the password also has to be hashed. Wait. I'm going to accept the password from the body. So I'm going to save the password from the body. And hash it using this algorithm. Okay. The next thing is going to be find the ID, find the user I'm using the ID I have right here, and uh, change the password from the body into uh, the new the new password we passed from the body. So what, what we're doing is basically we're finding the ID and updating. We're finding the user by ID and updating it. So, I'll call this user password. Call the user and ID and update. First thing is I'm gonna find the user that I'm about to change the ID to. That is a user ID. 
thing. The second parameter is a new uh, dated document. This is going to be a password. Add a third parameter, I can pass a new true so that it, it, should, it should, could return me the new value, the changed value. And this is going to return, so this is going to return this, oh, I spelled right here, the password. This will return the new the new uh, user with the new password. And if it fail if it fails, it's gonna show 400 status false in your record. Okay, let's test this. Um, this is gonna be a patch request. This is gonna be change password. API is going to be API v1 users. No, that's a user's ID. User's ID. Let's accept slash. Mm. Okay. Let's add me. Perfect. Now we need to pass the user ID and the body will pass a new password. Let me give it a new password. Oh. Content type. It's gonna be this one. Okay, let's test this. All right, uh, user ID. Oh, we don't have the user ID. Okay, let's pass the user ID from Mongoose. password. Okay, we're hitting the API. Um, user ID. Okay, um, it's returning now. Uh, it's returning now. So 
So let's debug this uh, users. Uh, let's make sure this is an actual user ID. Uh, users. Let's pass this user ID. Perfect. I think we're changing the password. Yep. So we're generating a new hashed password every time. So this seems to be working. Uh, thank you very much. And um, take care. Bye.